Hello, 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 hello. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for joining Tierra's Tarot. I appreciate you guys clicking onto my video. This video will be for all my beautiful and my handsome Kansas out there. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So please take the press that does on what doesn't leave no out. Also, this could be the past, the present, or in the future. And to be aware of any scammers in the comment section pretending to be me, okay? So let's go ahead and get started here, Cancer. So I want to basically elaborate more on career, you know, finances, what have you, and then love. So for some of y'all, um, if you were trying to get approved for a loan, it might get denied, okay? Um, but that's not the end of the world, okay? It's what I'm getting. It's not the end of the world, okay? Um, I definitely see that that is just a step forward to allow you to expand yourself okay and find, find different ways and different avenues you know avenues to create more money okay it's what i'm getting here for some of y'all i do see that you could be going on vacation very soon or that's why this loan was i don't know what this is but some of you are feeling like you need a vacation because it's like you've been multitasking you've been doing your work you've been taking care of the kids okay you just been, you know paying the bills so some of you feel like you just need a day off okay it's what i'm getting but i do see that your debt or whatever debt you have is going to be paid off okay or something like that something is about to be finally paid off whether that be a car note you know whether that be student loans whatever it may be okay i don't know if this is unexpected money that's going to come in for some of y'all or you're putting your money somewhere so it can grow, but it's going to allow you to, to you know, take care of your debt, okay, for some of y'all, all right? Now, let's talk about love. Cancer. Pay attention to the red flags, okay? The signs are cautioning you when it comes to a particular situation. Okay, we got here wedding. This situation involves marriage. So, um, why do they need to pay attention? Let's pay attention to the red flags. Okay, yeah, because there's some type of new beginning that's coming. Okay, or somebody's about to give you something, maybe gift you with something. Okay, spirit is telling you that it is safe for you to love. So for some of y'all, you definitely could be marrying somebody or taking things to the next level. Somebody could be giving somebody a form of, like I said, a gift or a promise wing or even a ring with wedding being here. Okay, yes, yeah, some of y'all, a lot of people got these cards as well with the honeymoon. Okay, I'm seeing you enjoy your time with somebody. Okay, like things are just... You know, working out, you get your happy or what have you, okay? Um, you feel like you've been guided to this person or this person feels like they've been guided to you here. But here's the thing. I don't know what the situation is. <laughs> I don't know if somebody's still married and they found somebody. Now they want to go through a divorce or um, something involves me. I don't know, okay? Because marriage could definitely be like a soul bond, okay? So with that being said, somebody, somebody could have had another attraction or maybe just some type of how can i say bondage to somebody okay somebody could be talking to their friends about releasing someone from their past or your, you could be talking to your friends about releasing someone from your past okay cancer all right you're trying to get help you're trying to gain some type of wisdom okay and you know the time has come for you to clear your energy from this individual but somebody could still be attracted to an ex or i don't know where this is coming from Okay, or somebody, yeah, because somebody could still be waiting on an individual, or somebody knows that somebody's still waiting on them, even though they're releasing them. I don't know what this is. Sound like somebody could be playing some type of games with pay attention to the red flags. I don't know, because somebody could be somebody trying, they're ready to move on and, you know, be with somebody else, but they still maybe have a baby mom or a baby father that they may still be attracted to, or they still have, a, you know, ties with in some type of way. All right, and they know somebody could be simply waiting for them, but they could be talking to their friends on how to release this past person. It's what I'm getting. Yeah, wow, we got here. Free yourself. So somebody's definitely trying to free themselves from a situation from their past or what have you. Because somebody wants to take back control over their life. They feel trapped. Okay, it's what I get. It's what I'm getting. So somebody could have literally put, you know, themselves in a situation where they don't know how to get out of it. Okay, because the person that they're dealing with now. Or you're dealing with it definitely is a new love okay somebody finds attraction towards somebody new and they could be playing with this person you know you know just having fun with this individual okay they feel like this person could be the one this newer love so it's like they have to break ties from a past individual all right but somebody could literally be lying to somebody else saying that they want to work on this, this situation but they really don't it's very deceptive okay so it seems like somebody's playing a fucking game with another person 
that they have some type of ties with, okay? And and feeding one person on, leading one person on, and trying to pursue something with a new individual, okay? The new person will probably need to be cautious as well, all right? If this is your past person, okay? I don't know what this is. But yeah, we got here getting to know somebody. See, somebody's getting to know someone, and it's like things could be, you know, moving a little bit quickly, but this person still has past shit, okay? Past tie they need to get rid of. All right? Well, so what's what? Oh, I can't make it up. We got the Three of Cups. What's the Three of Cups? That's signifying a third-party situation. I can't make it up. Somebody needs to move away from a third-party situation. Okay? Three of Cups to the Three of... Uh, excuse me. Three of Cups to the Six of Swords. My hair keep getting in my damn face. But yeah... Devil, Capricorn energy, ooh, moon card secret. That's the secret. Somebody still has old ties that they need to sever from, and that's just what it is. There's no way around it. Like I said, somebody could even be legally still married, and they need to get the legal the, uh, documents and paperwork. But if they have a family with somebody else, they could be telling this person that they have a family with, hey, we're going to work on this partnership with the group, and unbeknownst to that person, they out here trying to create something new with somebody else. Wow. We got the Seven of Cups. Yeah, this is a whole bunch of confusion. Some type of illusion here. Okay, what's the Seven of Cups? Yeah, Five of Pentacles. Okay, somebody needs to let... Just leave these people out in the cold. Okay, this confusion, these options. Okay. Or simply let... Oh, I can't make it up. Justice. Somebody will be balancing something out, though. They will be balancing this out, is what I'm seeing. Oh, after an ending. All right, after some type of betrayal, ten of swords, okay? Then somebody's going to be committing and investing. Maybe somebody got somebody pregnant or something like that. Oh, gosh. Seven of Wands, seven, seven. See, somebody needs to take heed. We got here seven, seven, seven on the table, Cancer. Somebody definitely needs to take heed to the situation because either way it goes, both parties, no, whatever parties. Somebody holding a secret. They still have attachments. And then leading the other person on. We have here the Princess of Wands. So, somebody could be dealing with a younger fire sign. But you can have buying a chart. Put it where it fits. Ooh, eight of cups. Somebody walking away. Yep. And, and somebody spying on the other person. While this person is walking away, they're still watching and spying this person. That's the truth. This person could even be dabbling in magic. Somebody could even be dabbling in magic on this masculine because they're bitter that this masculine is walking away. Or when they find out that this masculine is just laying them on. Oh, oof. ooh. And we got the devil. So somebody could definitely be doing some type of magic on this masculine for walking away from them. Mm. Yeah, we got the two of wands. Yeah, somebody needs to make some type of decision. Ooh, high priestess, because there's a secret. There is a, you know, mistress or whatever the fuck. Okay. Mm, this ain't gonna be no long reading yet. Three of Pentacles. Somebody could be working with a Earth sign. Okay. Somebody could be the father of this this person's child. Yeah, this person is doing some type of deep reflection though. About their decisions. Maybe they've been thinking about them, or this new person could be like getting an inkling that something is up as well. Yeah, we got uh the chariot. You moving forward here, Cancer, with the chariot car. What's the chariot? Okay, I see you in your vehicle. Okay, yeah, we have here the King of Pentacles. Okay, so Earth sign energy. What about this? Ooh, Nine of Pentacles. So whoever the masculine energy is, all they're doing is worrying about their money. Okay, they like being single, to be honest with you. They don't like to be tied down, but they do see somebody here that they really want. But this person masks themselves as a big macho dude, okay? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you know, and they're trapping up other people, though. They got other people in their head. Feeling like they can't trust them. Mm. I don't know, Cancer. If you're a masculine Cancer, this could be you. Okay. Um, the Princess of Wands landed right on top of the Nine of Pentacles. So somebody could definitely be single. Yeah. Ooh, Two of Cups. Or somebody's. What's this? Two of Cups. Ten of Wands. Somebody feel like a, it's a burden to be in a relationship with a fire sign in energy. Could be. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, breakup. Somebody could be breaking up with a younger fire sign. They feel like it's too much of a burden for them. So, like I said, somebody ain't doing nothing but, but working. They could be lying and saying that they're working. But they're, 
but they're really communicating with other feminine energies maybe even a mother figure okay or somebody that they see as an empress is what i'm getting in secret okay <sighs> damn i don't know we got now we have yeah here you go cancer as a feminine okay anything else spirit before i close this out Oh, Ace of Wands. What's this Ace of Wands? It means somebody could be active or somebody could have caught something with that fire. Oh, yeah. Somebody definitely could have caught something or somebody's attracted to another person. Okay. It could be a masculine Leo. Oh, Nine of Swords. Somebody could be worried that they caught, they caught something or something. Yeah, for being a player out here in these streets. Okay. Oh, Lord. This is very detailed. Who Whose story is this here, Cancer? Yeah, Aries Energy. Yeah, somebody wants to take a leap of faith and just end something completely with the world card. Yeah. Oh, no. This is a lot of signs here. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. Let me get one spiritual as fuck card to sum this up, spirit. For my cancers. Yeah, we got two. It says these, okay, three ways to fail at everything in life. Mm. Complain about everything, blame others for your problems, and never be grateful. Exactly. All right. Then we have here, you can, I ain't going to read that one. Um, basically explains itself. But anyway, I said you can learn a lot of good lessons from a few fucked up people. Wow. So somebody learned a lesson from the people that they had in their life or what have you. Maybe they could be the friends, lovers, what have you. Okay. Or even themselves. Shit. But it says, take a moment and think about a major lesson in your life. Did you, did your heart get broken? Did a friend betray you? Did I just say that? <laughs> did the heartbreak teach you not to settle? Mm, are you resilient and self-reliant now because you had to be? Think of the fucked up person who taught you that lesson. Send them a little cosmic thank you. Gratitude uh, for the lesson you learned does not excuse what they did. It does help you avoid going back in that same lesson and a new fucked up person though. Mm. And I'm a... End it right there. Wow. I love you guys so freaking much. I need anything else from me. Look in the description box below.